In the previous video, we have learned about the basic shape of molecule according to VSEPR theory. The example of basic shape are linear, trigonal planar, tetrahedral, trigonal bipyramidal, and octahedral. These shapes are called basic shape because it does not have lone pair. Today, we are going to use the VSEPR theory again to determine the shapes of molecule with lone pair, multiple bond, and ion. Assalamualaikum and hi semua. Bertemu lagi kita dalam siri Pensyarah Kimia Awak. VSEPR stand for Valence Shell Electron Pair Repulsion. So, uh, in short, VSEPR is a model used to predict the molecular geometry of individual molecule from the number of electron pairs surrounding the central atom. Let us learn how to draw molecular geometry or shape of molecules with lone pair. I will use the general example that consists of letter A, B, E where A is the central atom, B is the bonded atom, E is the lone pair. Subscript M and N are integers. I will not discuss about two electron pair because the molecular geometry will always be linear. Okay, so the shape of linear looks like this. Okay, so we will start with three electron pair. For three electron pair, the electron pair arrangement is trigonal planar, as you have learned in previous video. If there is no lone pair, that means the bonding remain three bonding pair, zero lone pair. Or the class A, B, 3 The molecular geometry will always be trigonal planar So, this is the shape of trigonal planar Okay, uh, so we need to draw the shape here A is the central atom B is the bonded atom So, draw it like this And then the angle, you should remember the angle is 120 Degree. The real example for trigonal planar is BCL3. This one you can try to do it on your own. Okay, and then trigonal planar. Initially, it has zero lone pair. What if we have one lone pair? Okay, that means the class now is AB2E. That means two bonding pair and one lone pair. So imagine you have this molecular geometry. And then pull out one of the bonding pair so that there is one lone pair and two bonding pair. So the shape looks like letter V. Okay, so that's mean for three electron pairs, if we have one lone pair, the molecular geometry is V shape or bent. The shape is V shape, so we need to draw A B. So this bonding here. It's now a lone pair. Okay, so replace it with lone pair. And then, I'm sure you have learned this in the previous video. The repulsion between lone pair and bonding pair is stronger between bonding pair and bonding pair repulsion. Okay, so the angle, the bond angle between BAB is less than 120 degree. The example is SO2. Okay, so next for electron pairs. Okay, so for electron pair, the electron pair arrangement is tetrahedral. Kalau tak ada langsung lone pair, that means zero lone pair, so the shape will remain tetrahedral. Or for some of you, maybe you need this class. So class is AB4. Okay, that means four bonding pair, zero lone pair, so the shape is tetrahedral, and it should looks like this. Okay, or if you want to view in 3D molecule, the shape is like this. Okay, okay. But what if dalam keempat electron pair tu salah satu dia adalah lone pair? That means kalau kita ada satu lone pair, the class now will be AB3E. 
That's mean three bonding pair and one lone pair. So we can use the same model and pull out one of the bonding. So now we are left with three bonding pair and one lone pair. So the shape looks like pyramid. Okay, so this is what we call trigonal pyramid. So the molecular geometry when you have one lone pair and three bonding pair is trigonal pyramid. And we need to draw the structure. Okay, so based from this structure, you just need to remove one of the bonding here so that this is the lone pair. So you should expect the bond angle should be lower than 109.5. And the example of trigonal pyramid is ammonia. Okay, and that if if we have one lone pair tapi kalau daripada empat elektron pair ni kamu ada dua lone pair dua bonding pair so class is ab2 e2 shape kita back to this one kita cabut lagi satu sebab kali ni dia ada dua lone pair so the shape looks like v shape or sometimes you can call it band okay So next kita draw lah V shape tu untuk macam mana Lebih kurang macam tadi Cuma tadi ada one lone pair For this one V shape kita ada dua lone pair Okay so And dua lone pair kita di sini Okay so draw Bagi nampak dia macam V shape lah Okay so the angle is Should be lower than 109.5 Okay So Why I use the less than sign two times because the angle at the V shape here should be lower than this angle. Okay, I'm sure you have learned it in a previous video. So the real example for V shape is H2O. Okay, okay. So saya nak bagi tips. Tips saya kat sini. Kamu kena ingat bond angle untuk ketiga-tiga molekul ni. For example, CH4 109.5, ammonia lower than 109.5 and the exact value is 107 degree for water is 104.5 degree tapi untuk H2S walaupun dia punya molecular geometry dia V shape angle dia kamu tak perlu hafal specific just ingat the angle should be lower than 109.5 degree ok so next is 5 electron pairs so next ok what if daripada 5 electron pair ni salah satu dia adalah One lone pair That's mean one lone pair Another four is bonding pair So dia akan jadi shape lain lah Daripada trigonal bipyramidal Disebabkan ada repulsion uh, Antara lone pair and bonding pair So if we have one lone pair Okay so the class is AB4E Four bonding one lone pair Okay so kita guna shape kita tadi This one Trigonal bipyramidal. Then we have to pull out one of the bonding so that we have one lone pair. Okay. So dekat sini nak tarik dekat mana yang hijau ke yang putih. Okay. Untuk minimize repulsion since itu tujuan VSEPR kita mesti pull out yang warna putih. Okay. So when we pull this out now we have one lone pair and four bonding. Okay. So, since dia boleh gerak-gerak macam ni So, ini adalah seesaw So, the shape is seesaw And, how to draw Just now, kita pull out salah satu daripada yang putih tu Okay, so, the best way is Okay, so, lone pair tadi adalah di sini So since ada lone pair sekarang That's mean ada lone pair bonding pair repulsion Which is stronger than bonding pair bonding pair repulsion So the angle you should expect Should be lower than 90 degree and lower than 120 degree The angle is from here To here is less than 90 degree From this one to this one is Less than 120 degree Okay Example of molecule that have seesaw molecular geometry is SF4. Next, what if we have two lone pair? That means there will be three bonding pair and two lone pair. 
So the class should be A, B, 3, E, 2. This is C saw shape just now. And then next, in order to get two lone pair, we need to pull out another bonding. So now we have two lone pair. Okay. So now the shape looks like letter T. Yes. So this is T shape. So the molecular geometry is T shape. Okay. So kalau tadi kita pull out this bonding. So that dapat C saw. So now kita ada dua lone pair. So kita pull out this two bonding here. Okay, ini just tip untuk mudahkan kamu lukis lah. Kalau dari segi molecular geometry, tak kisah. Kamu cabut yang mana pun, the shape will be the same. Yang straight ni, remain. Dua ni, jadi lone pair. So now, the shape looks like T-shape. Angle for T-shape is less than 90 degree. And example of molecule with T-shape molecular geometry is BrF3. Okay, so for 5 electron pair, kita boleh juga ada 3 lone pair. Okay, kalau 3 lone pair, maksudnya 2 lagi adalah bonding. Okay, so the class should be A, B, 2, E, 3. 3 lone pair. Okay, so kita boleh bayangkan dah lah. Okay, so for this one, we have 1, 2 lone pair. So now we need to pull out another yang putih ni. So that jadi 3 lone pair. Okay, uh, so sekarang you can see the molecular geometry looks like linear. Okay, but for this linear, dia bukan linear yang straight je, tapi dia ada tiga lone pair. So this bonding pair here, kita remove sebab dia jadi lone pair. So that is how you can draw apa linear. Or, kalau kamu tak nak draw dia menegak You can just draw it dalam bentuk uh, Mendatar lah Okay, and then the bond angle Since linear, bond angle dia adalah 180 degree Okay, so example of Molecule yang linear Tapi dia ada 3 lone pair And 2 bondi adalah I3 minus This is the last one Six electron pairs. So next, what if we have one lone pair? Okay, that's mean one lone pair and five bonding pair. So this is the molecular geometry. Dalam case ni, since ada one lone pair, so kita boleh cabut mana-mana aja -mana sebab bond angle dia sama. So let's say we pull out this one. So ini uh, shape dia macam kalau kamu tengok ini sebenarnya macam piramid. Okay, so base dia adalah square. So kita boleh panggil Square piramida. Kita kena draw square piramida. Since tadi kita remove atas atau bawah, so kita boleh draw. Oh, so this is the shape of square piramida. Kalau kamu nak nampak lagi satu lone pair kamu di bawah pun boleh bonding kamu ni di atas. Bond angle since ada lone pair, ada lone pair bonding pair repression, the bond angle is less than 90 degree. Okay, and then, example of molecule with square parameter shape adalah BrF5. So, uh, last, kalau kita ada dua lone pair, okay, that's mean empat bonding, dua, like, dua lone pair. So, kita akan guna yang sama. So, kita pull out another one. Okay. So, now, the shape looks like this. Okay. So, ini adalah square plana. And kita nak draw square plana Kita just remove this bonding here Two lone pair Satu atas Satu bawah And bond angle ah This one Bond angle dia back to 90 degree And example of molecule with Square plana shape is ICL4 minus Hope you enjoyed the video Don't forget to like Subscribe Share and click the bell icon if you want to be notified when our new videos are released. Thank you and have a nice day.